What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. What's up guys, welcome back to BFFs presented by Dat Chat. So Dat Chat is an awesome new social networking and messaging app that a bunch of us here at Barstool are now using. BFFs is on it, all of us here are on it, it's super cool. And what's cool about it is it's intimate, so if you say something stupid, you can delete all your messages, no one's gonna see it, and there's no screenshotting allowed. So it's really, really cool and you can interact with all of us on it. So you can post private messages, can't be screenshotted, forwarded, and can't be self-destructed anytime sending or posted. So go download the app now, make sure to join our BFFs page and talk all things BFFs with us. You can download DatChat for iPhone and Android in the app stores right now or go to datchat.com slash barstool to get more info. BFFs, January 19th, another episode and we'll start. uh, We talked about a little bit the Logan Paul update. So Logan Paul, the 3.5 million um, that he bought fake Pokemon cards for. So this is a big story. I knew it was fake last week. Pokemon. 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 Yeah. yeah, so huge story. Uh, it, and I've seen people on the internet being like, it, he knew they were fake or is it not? But he definitely didn't. He was kind of stunned when they found out. And I'm like, how does this happen? And when he said it to me, he basically said, most people don't open the packs. You leave them sealed. But he was opening them. And then right away, people uh, realized that they were fake. And I'm reading this. Upon opening, and this is from his guy, yeah, this is, opening, the this is the guy that sold. This is the guy that actually took the soak of like the three point five mil, right? Yes, correct. Yes. Because correct. Logan never paid that money. Correct. Logan never paid it. He had a guy that uh, paid it, and he was going to pay. And he's some huge card guy. He was like the most fascinating guy I've ever met. He he. It was a guy who spent a decent amount of his time like in jail, and I think it was well known. Wow. I think I can say that came out and created this business with sports marabilia all on the up and up and is like the most renowned guy in memorabilia business. So he basically put, I, yeah, this is him. I met him the same night. Upon opening the first edition, um, authenticated Pokey, wait, how do you say it? Pokemon, Pokemon. I think. Pokemon. 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 This is like a world renowned word. Like everyone knows how to say this, Dave. Pokemon. Uh, some some words I- Pokemans or something, right? Yeah, some words I'm just not good with. We That's noticed okay. the, the boxes inside looked off. Sadly, the case was fake. Logan Paul and a grateful to the rattle Pokemon and the Pokemon community for exposing this fraudulent case now before it has transacted any further. I've reimbursed Logan is 3.5 million. However, we'll see how quickly I made whole from the sellers who brought it to me, already authenticated in the coming days, or if it turns into a drawn out scenario. So the guy who did it was pissed and he's like, I will get my money back. It's crazy that because sucks. they were already authenticated. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you, I mean, you saw the you in the video. You see the guy's face. The guy looks in worse condition almost than Logan did because you know Logan does a little like uh, exaggerate for the video a little bit. You know, like it's like he knows he's on camera. The guy's face as soon as he opened that box was just like, I'm fucked. I wonder I'm if the fucked. authenticator guy goes gets like jail time or anything. Well, I don't know if that was... I think that was just kind of an honest mistake, I think. It's yeah, the they, person said, who's, they said they weren't experts at, uh, like, detecting Pokemon cards because they do, like, baseball cards and other sports cards, but they haven't done Pokemon that much, so they're not going to do Pokemon anymore well, until yeah. they, like, <laughs> fix their... So it, yeah, it, I was going to say they probably shouldn't. They, they, they were G.I. Joe cards in here. Very yeah, wrong. Damn. It was kind of crazy because... So we were in Chicago. That's the night. Logan flew in from L.A. with with the guy who sold it. They went directly to get the cards authenticated and directly to Barstool River North. So that guy was like, I'm sorry if I'm not being my A game today. I'm kind of rattled. Oh, they had just found out. Literally like five minutes before they showed up. Damn. And like Logan said, Logan, I, I said, Logan is... The, one of the best media guys ever. So he's like, I'll be able to figure out how to turn it into content. Yeah. But the other guy was fucking rattled. That's his entire business. So crazy story. Um, Drake loves hot sauce. Drake cool. is allegedly being sued by a woman he had sex with for putting hot sauce in his condom to kill his sperm. After Drake had sex with this woman, he supposedly took his condom off and filled it with hot sauce to kill his sperm. The woman who Drake met through Instagram then went to the bathroom, untied the condom, and poured the semen into her vagina, causing her vagina to feel like pouring hot lava into her vagina because the condom had hot sauce in it. The woman is now suing. I don't get it. 
How, it's kind how of a rock star sue? move. Yeah, but like you can't sue because you were trying to impregnate yourself with his sperm. Oh yeah, no, Drake will definitely just counter sue and win. But I mean, the the thing that goes through my head the, as soon as I heard this, right? It's like, what 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 hot sauce was he using? Was it white hot sauce? I, because what girl is seeing a condom with either red? Let's think about hot sauce colors. No, red, she was seeing dollar green, signs. She was seeing yellow. a baby. There's like three different colors for hot sauce: red, green, yellow. Let's say right. What man's sperm is colored like that? What? Who? How do you? How do you? <laughs> yeah. How do you see that and go? Yeah, that's normal. That I, is the. Hey, Drake's pe like bleeding out of his. Penis? I gotta be that's honest. I I saw this story, but I hadn't read it. I assumed he put it in. I guess it would burn your dick, but I assume he put it in the condom immediately. Like he was. What? Fucking you thought? Well, no way. What do you mean, what? Dude. Don't don't what me? The girl poured hot sauce in their vagina after the fact that's more crazy <laughs> it, yeah i think it I, I mean yeah but like no who's so gonna, i think like he gonna took the condom off pour. and then yeah and then it put in. the hot sauce right i yeah. get it i yeah, get he it had like a little, he was fucking with the hot he had like sauce a little taco well, bell packet I, I didn't know how she got hot sauce in her vj okay yeah she just poured it all in yeah that's crazy. he must have had the little but, you know it, it's more crazy to do that and then sue yeah Oh, like, that's impossible. Yeah, you right. can't so, win that. Like, if you ask people what's more realistic, I don't know. I've never done hot sauce. Maybe it doesn't burn, but that Drake puts hot sauce pre in the condom or <laughs> after, but the girl takes it, pours it into herself, and then sues, that scenario is far more unlikely. That you you mm. got caught if that happened, which, by the way, this whole thing sounds made up. But I know. If, if you poured the hot sauce into your VJ and then sued... That's far more unlikely. I guess I guess the hot sauce could be like a numbing tactic, you know? A little, oh, hot sauce in the condom numbs the peen. You know what I'm saying? Or it's it like, kills oh, all like, uh, like condoms aren't a million. Maybe Drake's just like, I got to be a million trillion percent. Like, yeah, I wonder if he's always protective. doing that. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Crazy. Because um, like bleach would work story. better, right? Like bleach would be a clearer liquid, I was thinking, that would like, you can have like a little... I don't know, just like a little a mini can, you know what I'm saying? And just psh, psh, pour it in the condom when you're done, tie it up, mini bleach. And that like looks the same, but hot sauce? It is. How did it's you mess that up? Yeah. Absolutely. Again, I keep reiterating, the, the most fascinating part is that if we accept everything as truth, that she then sues, <laughs> like you poured it into yourself after it was done, you idiot. Yeah, you're um, the one it, in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it bad I want it to be true? I'm just, story. I'm just believing it. I'm just gonna run with it. I, I kind of think it's awesome. Uh, M MGK, Megan Fox engaged. You got MGK out here looking like a referee, and it looked like it was something from The Bachelor. It absolutely looked like it was something from The Bachelor. Uh, I don't know. It, 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 these two have been in the news forever. I don't have much to say. The ring is kind of cool. They're drinking each other's blood, but I'm a little bit over these two, if we're being honest. Yeah, like what's the next step now? They just have a baby and then everyone's just gonna move on. Yeah, or do like a, maybe like a big selling. I feel like they like, like sacrifice a, each other. That's yeah, the next move. yeah, something. Yeah, something crazy like that, like a ceremony. Yeah. It, it wouldn't, yeah, it just wouldn't be a simple baby. It would be something like with ghosts and goblins and God knows what. Um, Stormy in Chicago's fourth birthday. Stormy, Kylie Jenner, Travis Scott's daughter in Chicago and Chicago. Kim and Kanye's daughter had a joint birthday party this weekend which stirred up some family drama with Kanye wished his daughter a public happy birthday because he's apparently not allowed to know where the party was. Kanye ended up at the party after Travis Scott supposedly told him the details. Kanye's live <laughs> video and then he's hitting something. Um, Kylie Jenner also sparked con controversy after posting pictures and videos of herself still very pregnant because there have been theories she already gave birth. Um, lots of stuff going on here. Lots of stuff. Yep. Wow. Imagine like I saw the clip of, uh, and, and we might have it, but I saw the clip of Kanye talking about how he wasn't invited to the birthday and it was like a four minute video. Mm -hmm. And then I think he posted another one after and he's like, yo, they tried to keep me out of my daughter's birthday, but they couldn't. Shout out Travis. <laughs> Just snitches on him right away. Just shout out Travis Scott for giving me the address. It's like, oh, you know, he was like, corner of the party, like slyly trying to text us shit like, yo, the ID is this. Don't tell anyone I gave it to you. Make sure you just come in. And he just outed Travis Scott like that. Now this guy's getting reamed. 
I thought they were supposed to be on such great terms. That's what we keep hearing, right? Like I know. Like, why couldn't he go to his daughter's birthday party? Yeah. It seems intense. It seems like kind of messed up to not let him go to his daughter's birthday party. Well, I mean, they let him right in and right to the pinata, so they didn't really care. Yeah, yeah they couldn't have cared too much. He does also have that new song with the lyric, God save me from the crash just so I can beat Pete Davidson's ass. But I don't <laughs> feel like you can take anything Kanye says in the lyrics overly serious can you i mean Mm-mm. can you i don't no, know i mean kanye. i don't yeah i but i <laughs> i don't think a lot of people have gotten a kanye like pete davidson has well i mean he's having sex with his ex-wife although supposedly he's happy to move on but clearly he's not he bought the house he wasn't at the party i don't think it's necessarily pete davidson it's it would be whoever is next right yeah i think he's just in love with kim regardless of who it is um more Kanye. Kanye's random uh, celebrity crew. One of the strangest videos ever. You had Madonna, A.B., Floyd Mayweather looking like he just came straight from the gym. Yep. Um, Kanye's new girlfriend. Just uh, And they're all just sitting on the couch, like, kind of vibing, but in a very weird, like, awkward way. It was one of the stranger videos I've ever Kanye seen. Kanye looked like he didn't even want to be there. Yeah, like, I wonder what the conversations are. What do they talk about? Kanye looked like he didn't want to be there. Like Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather didn't even look like he knew how he ended up there. <laughs> and then Julia Fox obviously is going very public uh, with her relationship with Kanye. The whole, uh, I mean, he's everywhere. Kanye is everywhere. Yeah, he definitely is the main guy in the media right now. Do, do you think Julia Fox has any feelings for him? Is just loving the shine. I like Loki thinks she like really likes him. She's yeah. like crazy. She's been in the media for a long time and has done crazy shit. So I think they're mentally on the same page. Okay. Fair enough. Huh. Good to see love going well. Um, yep. Maddie Monroe posted a screenshot of DM saying, uh, sent saying that an undisclosed person, their friends faked the screenshot of Maddie's deleted tweet on New Year's Eve that people speculated was about Charlie and little Huddy. Whoa. Even though this DM was published saying it was a fake tweet, May still posted defending the tweet the day after. I don't get this one. So she's coming out saying it was never tweeted, but then she still went on her story and, like, defended it? Makes no sense. No sense None. at all. It, it had to have been up. I don't think it was fake. You would think the first reaction, if someone somehow hacked you and posted a fake tweet, would be like, that's fake. That's fake. Not to defend it. Yeah, and make up a whole scenario and story about it. we got to get her on. We're supposed to get her on the pod. Yeah. Um, Yeah, what the hell? On and off, I saw she did reply and say yes, but we didn't get her. She's Madison Beering us. She is. Madison Beer did respond, and she's like, I just don't like doing podcasts, but I'll do something. Like, I'll do content with you. I don't hate you. (laughs) Okay, she doesn't hate us. That's a good put, sign. Put it in the check column for the no hate column. What That's about uh, Kodak Black? Good column. Want to give an update on him? Kodak Black responded with the smiley face, like crying emoji. I saw your tweet. Like, but then he what? he took it back. I said, we got to get you on the podcast. And I think he deleted that oh, emoji. Oh, he, he unsent it? Yeah, which I don't know why. What the hell, wow. Kodak? Yeah, it's not like that said anything. He just laughed. Man, they don't want to see us winning. No, they don't. Damn. Let me see if he said anything. <laughs> uh, no, he didn't unsend it. I'm looking. He right did now. not. No, oh, it's there. It's still the same thing. Yeah, he just left you on red when you said we got to get you on pod. <sighs> oh damn! I thought I thought I saw it gone. All right. Well, maybe we'll get him. I'll ask him again. Um, nice. I'm looking right. Yeah, it's still there. I the good see. old Kareem double follow up. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, we have Britney Spears versus Jamie Lynn Spears. Brittany and Jamie have been going head to head on social media after Jamie Lynn released her upcoming book, Things I Should Have Said, that she discussed on Call Her Daddy and Good Morning America. Wow. Following the GMA interview, Britney Spears and Jamie Lynn went back and forth on social media. Britney said she knows the book isn't about her, but wants Jamie Lynn to acknowledge what Britney went through instead of acting like she knows nothing. Britney ended up saying she loves her sister and she admires her courage. J- Jamie has since canceled her book tour because she didn't want the book to be out money or, or extra press for her. On Call Her Daddy, Jamie Lynn talked about feelings like the forgotten child, how Britney's breakdown in Hollywood affected her, and that she isn't jealous of her sister and looks up to her. I mean, how could you not be the forgotten child in that relationship? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of tough to be Britney, Britney Spears', Spears little sister. sister. Yeah. yeah. 
Somebody tweeted at me, and I had to retweet it because it was so funny. But Jamie Lynn Ted Cruz. looks like a girl version of Ted Cruz. It's crazy. All the, like, she's getting destroyed on social media for what she looked like on um, Call Her Daddy. Call Her. Yeah. yeah. I originally thought she was one of the Simpson sisters. But when someone said Ted, I mean, whatever, guys and girls can always have doppelgangers, like, with hair or without. But yeah. she looked exactly like Ted Cruz. I mean, <laughs> it was uncanny in that picture. It was weird. Unbelievable. <laughs> huh. Facts I are mean, facts. Wow. Ted Cruz. It's nuts. Nuts. Yeah. Take put Ted Cruz hair on Ted Cruz on her, and there you go. You got Ted Cruz. Do you guys want to talk about the Bills quick? It was a topic, I guess. If Josh, you want to get. Oh, uh, we can do Bills. Yeah, the Bills killed the Patriots. Yep. Bills are yep. great. Bills, yep, Bills, they're the best. Bills, Patriots. Bills suck. all the way. They're going to make it to the actual Super Bowl, so it's going to be amazing. Listen, I, um, ho- I hope the Bills do. Not that the Patriots are out. It was a total bloodbath. Um, yeah. I honestly wish it was a closer game because it was kind of it got boring to watch. It, it almost sad. makes it. It almost makes it easier, though, for a Patriot fan. Like, we wanted to beat the Bills a thousand times, so whatever. We weren't as good. And I do love the people of Buffalo, and I like Josh Allen, so it, yep. it, it sucks we lost, but I'm rooting for him. Sorry, going to bounce. Week 10, week 10 I, put down, uh, I put down an L.A. Rams, Buffalo Bills. Was it week 10? It was right when the Odell trade happened. The day yep. the Odell tra- trade happened, I put down L.A. Rams versus Buffalo Bills Super Bowl Finals, what, so we'll see what happens. What were the odds on that? It was like... Uh, it was probably a uh, like an eleven x like an eleven x oh, return. I, I would have thought it even be more. That's a great. Nah, bet it wasn't. Point. It wasn't. But huh. yeah. All right, I'll uh, I'll be back with you guys next week. Sorry, I gotta take care of shit real quick. Oh, all good. All right. So yeah. All right. All right, Leo. I guess we hate him. <laughs> yeah, no. This is Leo's not even gonna like that we're covering this now. He doesn't have his like big fan. I here. know. I'm glad Dave's not here for this one. Yep. All right, Leo. Star Wars date. A tweet went viral from a satirical website saying Leonardo DiCaprio's ex, Camila Marone, called date with Leo the worst date of my entire life because Leo rented out a movie theater to binge watch the Star Wars series as Leo ran around with a lightsaber. (laughs) (laughs) This tweet was debunked quickly as Leo is still dating Camila, but the tweet was still still picked up steam. God. Anyways. I want it to be real. Yeah. That's the the most rock star date ever. I thought... I thought Kodak Black might have taken the cake, but just running around like a 12-year-old boy with a lightsaber in a movie theater that you rented out yourself to make the girl sit there and binge watch all of Star Wars with you? It's kind of crazy that so many people believed it too. It's like, damn, maybe you are kind of a weirdo, Leo. Yeah, yeah, it's something I I feel like I could see him doing. Yeah, me too. I could see it for sure. If your boyfriend took you on this date, would you be mad? I'd be so mad. Really? Isn't one isn't one movie of Star Wars like three hours long? Yeah, but they're like cinematic masterpieces. Mm, that's like a ten hour day with Leo running around a little with a lightsaber. I'm I'm all done. With he probably that. has like a robe on and everything yeah, too. Yeah, I'm picturing it. You know what I mean? I'll show you one guy that that would probably take a girl on this date if he was a single man. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Dave would have been like, "This is the sickest date of all time." I, I, I don't disagree with him though. I was I was raised on Star Wars. Like it was the thing me and my dad used to watch all the time. So uh Rockstar date, I give it a ten out of ten. If Leo took me on this date actually, you know what? If Leo would have taken me on this date, I would have I would have voted for you him. You would have changed your mind. Attractive. I would have changed my mind if Leo had taken me on this date. Damn. All right. Glad he didn't. <sighs> what is this next one? We got airline forced Olivia Culpo to cover up. Olivia Culpo and her sister took to social media after Olivia was forced to cover up on American Airlines flight to Cabo with boyfriend Christian McGaffrey. Olivia was wearing a sports bra, biker shorts, cardigan, and what wasn't was allowed on the flight after Christian gave her his sweatshirt. Her outfit's not even that bad. Yeah, I'm going to say I've definitely been on the plane and seen worse. I feel like I've worn that. That's like a typical airport outfit. You're going to Cabo. You wear a little sports bra, a little sweater. Right. It's like kind of hot. In Cabo, yeah, I want to be like, like people like wearing swimsuits to like Miami, like when they're going on Miami. Yeah, flight. like a spirit flight to <laughs> yeah. Miami. Everyone's naked. Yeah, I don't know. I'd be so pissed. I would freak out. American Airlines yeah, sucks for that. Yeah, uh, good guy move by uh, Christian McCaffrey though, given the sweater. Yeah, what a gentleman. Freezing his ass off in a little in a little t-shirt. Though she would have been freezing cold on that flight. Yeah, that's not uh, that's not strategically dressing for the flight. It always gets no, freezing. Not up at there. all. It gets so cold on a plane every time. Yeah. So 
Maybe American Airlines was just looking out for her then. Probably, I guess. Jeez. Huh. Oh, this next one's right. crazy. The K- the Catherine McBroom yeah. 5G theory? Yeah. Catherine McBroom is spreading conspiracy theories that you need to put your phone on airplane mode before you go to sleep to protect yourself from 5G electromagnetic fields and that you should surround yourself space with organic crystal. Oh, I'm already out. I'm already out. I'm uh, Right? Organic crystals and pyramid shapes to protect yourself. Like... I don't even know. So you have to sleep with your phone on. I don't like get the, is this Illuminati shit? I don't know, but I don't believe anything that has to do with crystals. You're not, you're not a crystal guy? No, I'm not a crystal guy. A lot of hot girls love crystals and they're not going to be happy with this. You know what? (laughs) I can, I'm sure, I'm sure I can find a girl in the world that (laughs) doesn't love crystals. I guess so. There's got to still be some normal people left out here. Yeah, this crystal shit's crazy. Like, turn your phone on airplane mode to protect yourself. You sound like a psychopath. That's nuts. That's so nuts. Like, what is this? What is this? Rock with glitter in it. Yeah, wait. Oh, wait. The fans pointed out that she was incorrect. Phones receive signal. They don't transmit signals. Also, if you're on your phone all day, what does putting it on airplane mode at night doing? Some of y'all need to stay off these blogs. You sound ridiculous. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, they, what, the, only the bad the, things come out at night. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like oh, it's dark. The, the electromagnetic field or whatever is just like, all right, now it's time to go. It's dark out. Let's move in. Let's move in. Yeah, she was just trying to sound woke. Game of she posted it. That was stupid. Silly. What is this? Chain smokers? Oh, this is funny. So the chain smokers are making a comeback and they began teasing their fans on TikTok having two lookalites post pretending to be them, which resulted in multiple conspiracy theories saying they've undergone massive plastic surgery and have doppelgangers replacing them. So basically they did it. Like they trolled the internet and put two random people on and people are coming up with all these theories. This was one of the most like genius marketing yeah. strategies I've ever seen in my life. It was like they they were kind of dead, like really dead. You, when's the last time you heard about the chain smokers? Well, the only reason I've heard about them is because they do a lot of investing. So like yeah. a lot of people think music is their only thing, but they they are they are like props to those guys. They're some intelligent ass dudes, and uh, yeah, they they do a lot of ventures. So I I just know them through both of us doing venture and. Uh, yeah, saw this. They they have been quiet though. Even like I feel like in the music world, yeah, least, I haven't. Yeah. I yeah, and even in venture world, I feel like a little bit like in the last few months probably, but they haven't been doing any public call. Like I think big like no interviews. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They're not doing anything like that to be out in the public eye. They're not posting. And then they have this come out, and it was just like, oh, this is awesome. Because I saw the video and I was like, this doesn't fucking look like that. Wait, can what you happened? can you play it? I haven't seen the lookalikes. I've just like heard about this. Hey, chain smokers here. What's up? <laughs> yeah, we've been gone for a couple of years. We've been uh, changing our career plan a little bit. Uh, we've been getting into the boxing world. MMA. A little bit of MDMA. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> and we're coming for you, Jake Paul. Ron Paul. Aaron Paul. There's only room for one Paul in this town, <laughs> and that's Alex Paul. And that's Alex Paul. So Jake Paul, Logan Paul, if you want to fight the two of us the versus the two of you, we're going to tap your asses out. Be there. Three o'clock. Where? Where? <laughs> Wait, that Where was they... hilarious. I wish that that was low-key just the new chain smokers are funny. <laughs> yeah, right? They should just actually just be replaced. Yeah, they should just they run just... with it. And then the real chain smokers can do the ad- adventure capitalist shit with you. <laughs> right, right. They just have those guys like going off and doing all the cool fun yeah. stuff. And they're just like at home making investments all day. That'd be funny. Brianna, have you seen the Euphoria stuff? Do you watch that show? Yes. Are you going to say you don't watch it? No, I don't. You don't. So I don't watch Euphoria whatsoever. Why? I mean, one, I just haven't haven't started it. I'm watching I'm watching like a bunch of anime. I'm just on like an anime phase. Okay. Right now. I love anime. I it's feel so that. Cool. I'm on Game of Thrones right now, but Euphoria is like you have to. Ah, uh, but I don't. Okay. Well, you should. And if, I mean, everyone talking about Euphoria, it's like, it's just one of those shows where you don't understand if it's like realistic or if they just make it to be fucking insane like there's dicks all over the show you see so many penises it's just that's what i heard i heard it was really like i'm just watching like not actually even soft porn just full yeah porn. full bone porn porn with lots of drugs like and the big thing on have you seen like all the trends on tiktok with euphoria i've seen like i've seen a couple of them yeah yeah like how it's like unrealistic they wear tube tops and like their boobs out to high school classes and they're just like doing lines in the bathroom people are kind of freaking out about that how it's unrealistic but then there's the other side like 
no, that was realistic. That's what public school's like. So I don't know. What about your high school? Uh, what was your high school like? Anyone that's saying like, no, public school is like this. No, it's not. Yeah, just because no, you had one not. drug dealer. Yeah, just because, just because you were like the three, one of the three people in your high school that was like, majorly addicted to cocaine <laughs> while in high school still doesn't mean it was like that for everyone you were just tripping you were just fucking on other drugs as well tripping dick having a great time yeah the thing is is like it's like kids are like smoking weed in high school you know what i mean like they're they're like starting to break the rules and do shit they're not like ah all right never party before I'm gonna go do some ecstasy. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna start it up. That's how I'm gonna and like really kill light people. Like Monday these people morning. like kill people, and they like are drug dealers, and there's like all this crazy shit. It's just I personally think it's very unrealistic, but people get mad when you say that now. Right? No, it's it's. I mean, I'm sure there's like if you're if you're going into like certain schools, there's gonna be obviously more. Yeah, like uh, a big drug. ass school somewhere. Public exactly. School, yeah. Or if it's like not a super well funded school or not a like a, a, a wealthy neighborhood, right? Like depending on where you go. But like, I wasn't living in a, in a super wealthy neighborhood. I was like, going to a public high school. So there was definitely yeah. still like, I mean, I, obviously, there were drug dealers in the school, right? Like I had a buddy that lived on my street that was selling drugs. But it was like, they weren't walking around like shooting people and like yeah 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 like it was like it was like you could like i'd go swim in his pool yeah in the summer it, me and too then he was chopping as well you know what i'm yeah, saying the drug like, dealer in my like, school was like nice kid but he wasn't out here like actually shooting people i think it's yeah, just like, was like it, they take it up a notch it's like a little unrealistic 100 percent, because there were still always those kids in high school that like start gangs and like think they're like super oh tough, yeah you know what i'm saying and and like they're they're walking around like doing whatever yelling like we used to have this one in, where i'm from called like People used to call like boat gang or something. <laughs> boat it was just gang. Like, you couldn't even take them serious from their name. Like they say that or yell that at you, and you just start like kind of laughing. Like, come on, boat gang. Boat what? Gang. What? <laughs> what? But yeah, no, unrealistic. Uh, uh, that's my take. Yeah, I think you should still you should still start it. Yeah, no, I, I Sydney Sydney. What is their name? Sydney Sweeney. Sydney, Sydney Sweeney. Yes. <sighs> she is. Yeah, she's she a smoke show. Beautiful woman. She is a beautiful That's woman. For sure. That's why a lot of a lot of my guy friends watch the show just for her. <laughs> yep, makes sense. All right, I think now we have videos. Yeah, now we to got videos. To. All right, coach's daughter. That's that's the title. That's it. We played oh our God. rivals, and I put the coach's daughter on a shirt. <laughs> I'm throwing hands. <laughs> Oh my god! I mean, yeah, no way, no way. <laughs> like, the, no way. I'm not fighting that kid. That was a great. That was a sick move right there, though. Most like menacing thing you could have thought of to do. And it's not. That it's is, not like the dad could like really do anything or say anything. Yeah, you're at a you're at a high school event. Like, what's the dad gonna be like? Fuck you! Like, what? Oh, you gonna cuss out a little fuck boy? My daughter, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. The son's just like, read the shirt. What does it seem like? Of course I do. Yeah, read the shirt. Read the shirt. That's a like, big baller you can just move. Keep, you can just keep pointing at it every time his team scores a point. Oh, look, look! Your daughter's on my your shirt. Daughter's up in the stands, <sighs> blowing her kisses. Yep, that's why I don't want to have a daughter. I bet you'll have all daughters now because you said that. I know. I know. I'm waiting for it. Like three. It's gonna <laughs> suck. All right, cringy couple. There's, there's no way that that's not like I satirical. That was Dave for a second, Dave and Silvana. <laughs> oh my God! Imagine that was David. <laughs> Holy shit! No, that has to that has to be like they're making fun of it has to be right because I, I mean that's they, hilarious if it is a joke, but if it's serious, that's so sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna hope no, it's I, a joke. I don't even I don't even want to I don't even want to laugh at it because love is real, yeah. man. Jeez. Logan Paul's long lost twin. This is crazy. 
What's that conspiracy theory that you know is true, but you have no proof? Mine is a Kool-Aid man and Randy Savage is the same person. That's why they've never been filmed together. Yeah. Oh yeah. That is, that is like creepy how much he looks like him. That is nuts. That is. That's like, yeah. that's Logan Paul. Yeah, that's that, that that's Logan Paul. If like if he lost all the money to the Pokemon shit and had to like yeah start yeah over. if he kept getting scammed from Pokemon cards, that's that's Logan Paul right there. Someone said that's Logan if Vine didn't never existed. Yeah, he's, he's just, just in his basement in Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, still still in his mom's basement, just making videos. That's fucking creepy Randy though. Savage. Pogan Lol. Yeah, Pogan Lol. <laughs> Gosh. Sm- I had smallest New York City apartment. Here's what it's like living in the smallest apartment in New York. Wherever your expectations are, lower them. As soon as you walk in the door, we have the sink. Mm. Right next to the sink is conveniently located the kitchen. Pantry is absolutely stocked. I just realized that all those foods are carbohydrates and also come in a box. There's no nutritional value here. One bowl, one plate. My, uh... My living quarters, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. That's what the place was missing. I have two beds, but only one me. Some nights I'm a queen guy, other nights I chill on the twin. Closet. That's the whole place. Last thing, my piano. I'm a piano guy. Damn. Have you That's seen like him on the- TikTok, Josh? That yeah, I have. He does. Guy? He's like he always like he's trying to like apply to Juilliard or something. Yeah, shit. he's like blowing up. We should get maybe yeah, we should get him on massive. the pod. Axel? I asked him. Maybe it's pending. I guess like oh. he hasn't said anything yet, but. He likes huh. taking off. He lives in New York, so obviously. So yeah, well now yeah, he can get a apartment new apartment, is, a bigger one. He probably can soon after all these videos have been blown up. Yeah, but that's brutal. if he's not going live, he should go live. Yeah, because this guy could at least get an apartment that's bigger than like, that's the size of a bathroom. That that apartment was the size of a bathroom. people really like are out here living like that in New York. It's insane, and that that it's apartment was probably insane. like fifteen hundred a month. Like wow. it's actually crazy. <laughs> that is. Ridic- like you can get you can get a place in LA that's a lot nicer than that for $1,500 a month yeah it's crazy New York man all right introducing wood a new men's grooming line offering products across hair body beard and shave I am using it for the hair if you're looking at that hair get it it's fucking looks glorious uh wood is for the guy who knows his best life doesn't just come to him he has to go out and find it wood works and smells as good as it looks um the golden hour, come on, I mean, talk about your favorite scent, that's it, golden hour kind of invented that, smooth brandy, Madagascar vanilla, can't make that up, products, hair care, moisturizer, deodorant, facial cleanser, body and beard care, and more. Uh, shop wood at getwood.com or your local CVS, again, I'm using the hair product right now, so if you like how my hair looks, that's how you got to do it, shampoo and conditioner, body wash, deodorant, available in three cents, summer house, golden hour, I like golden hour, and fresh tracks, Hair care includes shampoo, conditioner, pomades, body wash, deodorant, moisturizers, face wash, scrub, moisture, you name it, we got it. Beard and shave, beard conditions, oil, shave creams, all products are $15 or less. Uh, Got to get it. Wood. Again, you can order it online or go to CVS. Getwood.com. Today, we're, uh, we're waiting for it to come. I'm going to not say the last name correctly. Riley... Habaka, I think. <laughs> I want to hear Dave go for it. I want to hear Dave go for it. Riley Habaka. Habaka. Spil- it's Hubaka. Hubaka. That was pretty Hubaka. close. Hubaka. Riley yeah, Hubaka. Pretty, you were pretty close, man. Thanks for coming on. Oh my God, of course. How are you guys? Good. So welcome to the show, Riley. I'm going to try it. Josh, I was practicing your last name before. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to like on. give him a coaching session a little no, bit. No, you had it. You had it. Yeah, you got Hubaka. it. Hubaka. Riley Hubaka. Hubatka. 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 Yeah, Close. that's what I said earlier. No, okay. Josh definitely does not know how to say my last name. Hubatka. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, after I just said it. <laughs> yeah, because I got it right. You, no, you got it right the first time before you came on. He's the one who got it. We'll start with this because I saw the thing. What? What? Do you guys not like each other or something? Why was that on the thing? Who, me and Riley? Yeah, yeah. we hate each other. What? What is that about? Why is I, it? I did see this on the sheet, right? I'm not making it up. Yeah, it's a lot no, of things. Making... Do Riley and Josh have beef? What is that even about? I don't. I don't think we have it. I don't think we have it. Are we creating it right here? <laughs> yeah, I no. think you guys are making this up. 
It's on the sheet, Josh. <laughs> this is the video. Josh, oh, I see it. Why do you never <clears throat> hang out with Josh but always meet Buddy? Because I like Buddy more than I like Josh Richards. <laughs> Who's Buddy? Oh, Buddy's your that's buddy? That's my dog. That's my dog. Oh, all right. I thought it was an actual guy. I don't blame you for that. Who doesn't like dogs more? In in my defense, um, Josh did appoint me the godmother of his dog. That is a true story. That's a fact. Yeah. So I feel like I feel like it's fair for me to say that I like the dog more than I like Josh. I'd agree. So yeah, you guys I, are pretty. So you guys are very close then. If you're. I would the say like yeah, we're pretty close. We've known each other since like uh, I've been out in LA almost. Yeah. Okay. I've known him for a good bit. We don't we don't hang out all the time. Like I don't see him often, but I would say that we're we're pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we know a good bit about each other. For sure. Why? So where are you now, Riley? I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. So then, how are you guys? So when Josh says you're in LA, if you're in North Carolina, like how's like how does that work? I don't get it. How it takes guys, like a plane. No, I understand guys. a plane. Why? So are you? So are you a full time like? social media person, Riley? I am, yeah. And I that's just recently. I was a student up until um, September. I was in hair school. I did cosmetology. Um, and I dropped out just because I kind of fell out of love with doing hair. And if you're not passionate about it, you shouldn't be in the business because it is hard. It's very hard. And I don't want to be a stylist. I don't want to do hair anymore. So dropped. So are you going to move to like LA or something? You're going to just do it full time from Charlotte? Um, right now, I'm pretty content in, in North Carolina, um, so I'm not planning on moving there full time anytime soon, but I do have the freedom to travel there whenever I want now that I'm out of school, so it kind of is what it is right now. I'm content here. I'm happy here. Got it. I'm being told that you're like super blunt and straightforward, so I'll ask this, then you're homeschooled. Is that just like, I've always thought people who are homeschooled are kind of weirdos. <laughs> a stereotype it is a stereotype mm -hmm. i was only homeschooled like third through fifth grade so oh. elementary school so i guess it doesn't really count i feel like you're you're called weird if you were homeschooled like throughout high school because you're not being exposed to like the public school environment but again it's a stereotype not all people that are homeschooled are weird i don't so want that to be a thing <laughs> this would also be the first time our um sheet is just incorrect so we like our producers i use air quotes um put together the facts and quite clearly riley this is homeschooled riley was also homeschooled growing up for her whole life that does say that and uh, he and then it says comma kind of she's it. weird <laughs> and then it says yeah comma yeah. she's a super weird girl with yeah, three younger why. sisters i don't know i don't know where they got that the internet also thinks i'm like like tall like five nine or five ten or something and i'm not so is five nine or five ten tall how tall are you i'm like five six because dave okay. is so excited that you just said that no I, yeah uh, you and dave are like, like the same height i i'm called like anywhere from five two to six four on the internet <laughs> and i'm uh, okay who is who has called you six four before on the internet dave? i believe i believe if you google me i'm listed at like six two or six four how much? How much did you have to? I don't. How much did you have to pay Google? J Josh, that's the worst thing ever. I don't care now, but if you're going to meet somebody and they Google oh, you and it yeah. says you're no, six you're right. two, yeah, and you show right. up, big disappointment. The worst. That's the fake jockey picture. Um, <laughs> all right. So I'm always curious, Riley. Like, <laughs> how did you get? Here, like, is this something you planned on doing, or are you just doing TikToks and they kind of caught like? Give us your like origin story. Okay, um, I I did not plan on this happening at all. It was um, it was very spontaneous, and I literally just posted like a story time video back in 2019, like the summer of 2019. Um, didn't expect the story to blow up. It was about some guy uh, from my middle school that I was like in love with, and he ended up making a fool out of me. Um, I can tell the story later if you want, but um, ended up blowing up. I did four parts to it, and by the end of the four-part story time, I ended up having like around like I think a hundred k followers, and I was like, wow, like a like a hundred thousand people want to see what I post, and like they like me. Um, so I posted a thank you for a hundred k video. Instantly lost like twenty thousand followers because no one really cared about me. They just wanted to follow me so they could be up to date with the story that I was telling. Um, so once that was done, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should 
maybe I should start kind of like um, posting videos that I think people want to see. And I was like, what, what, are, what do people want to see right now? And I thought that people like relatable content. So I started doing these little kid point of views and I became known as point of view girl for a little bit. I don't, I don't know if this is true, so um, I don't want people to get mad at me, but I feel like I was kind of the first person to start like um, little kid point of views. They were like point of views have been a thing, obviously, but um, I hadn't seen anyone acting like five-year-old in their point of views or their videos. So I would do like point of view, um, you are playing with your imaginary best friend in your backyard. And it's just super relatable content that people can be like, oh, like I wasn't the only one that did that as a kid. Kind of makes them feel safe. Um, so I remember hitting a million um, in a month and that was crazy for me. I was like, oh my God, like I don't think it really hit me. And to this day, I don't think it's really hit me. Like I feel so incredibly normal. It's insane. Um, I, I have to like remind myself that like I, I do have a platform and I do, I'm seen as an influencer and I do have followers, but I, I never want to, you know, be seen as someone with like a big head or a big ego just because what, like I have numbers on a certain platform. Like I never want to be seen like that. Um, but yeah, from there I, I did point of views for a while and then I kind of branched out and, um, you know, dabbled in some other genres of videos and now i'm just kind of like beauty lifestyle i guess you would say not what's going on with those fingernails do you like them those are fire yeah i like the, i like the mismatched colors i i love mixed match nails i like having all nails different mm. i think it's fun spices like up it. spices up an outfit can i also yeah. ask you like the, and you said you tell later i don't know we know the whole story like you got made fun of or made to be a fool did you say your middle school relationship i i was not in a relationship with this person i don't even think he liked me i was just in love with him because we had one class together and i thought that we were going to get married um and i was kind of like <laughs> fantasizing about this one guy that i had a class with whatever but i remember him and his two other friends who i also kind of knew like weren't weren't friends with but like were acquainted with just cuz we had classes together um i remember getting a facetime call from one of them one day and i was like oh my god like a boy is calling me like this is crazy um so like i got all ready whatever answered the call and um they were just talking to me like normal and i was like this is like cool like i have like friends that are boys like this is exciting um, and they started asking me about like what what movies I watched, and they're the guy that I liked was a huge Star Wars fan, um, and so he asked me he was like, "Have you seen Star Wars?" And I was like, "Yeah, I love Star Wars," which was a true statement. I just didn't know like like each movie very in depth, you know. I wasn't really sure about like a lot of the characters or the plots, or whatever. But I had seen them just like a little bit ago, um, and he goes, "Well, do you know the character Galaxar?" And I was like yeah, I know the character Galaxar. I had no idea what he was talking about, but I really wanted to impress this boy. So I was like, yeah, like I love him. Like he's one of my favorites. And then they <sighs> said, Galaxar isn't a real character, hung up on me. And I didn't talk to any of them again. And I was mortified. Um, and this is, the, enough, this is the hit, story hit her you told. With, yeah. Hit her with the good old uh, fake Star Wars bait. Damn, so you how, caught you. Nice. How, yeah, how Galaxar. Far in the, how far in the past like, all right, you tell the story on TikTok. How many years removed was this? Um, this this happened in maybe seventh or eighth grade, so it it was three or four years. So you, you needed you, like three or four years to mentally like heal, probably yeah. after that. You know what's funny though is like like a year and a half after the incident happened, I was still in high school, still going to public school, and this new kid had just moved to our town, and he had become friends with that group of boys that were making fun of me. They were like kind of popular, they played football, whatever. Um, and I remember walking out of the school one day, I, was, I think I was leaving early, and he was walking in, and he looks at me and goes, hey, Galaxar, a year and a half later, new kid moved to the school. I didn't <laughs> know that he knew about It's awesome. So obviously the guys were talking about it, and I thought everyone had forgot about it, but obviously not. Damn. I gotta be honest, in the scheme of like, and I'm way older, but in the scheme of like people getting made fun of, I don't think that's that high of a thing to think Galaxicar is like a Star Wars character. I know. Be... I, if that were to happen to me present day, I would obviously just like laugh it off like a joke. But to like little 12 year old me, it was such a big deal, especially like knowing that I was set up by the guy that I liked. And I, when you're in middle school, I feel like everything is like the end of the that world. That hurts, yeah. 
and you think it's the end of the world, your life is never going to recover. Um, so I was like, wow, I've liked this guy for some time now. And he just totally set me up. Like he's making fun of me. That's awesome. So kind of gave up there, but it was a huge deal to me at the time. And then, okay. And, and when you retell the story, you're telling it like, oh, I got my heart broken, but kind of like comedy style, I assume, yeah. because it is still Galactica. All right. Yeah. Um, the only other relationship I'm aware of, which was never confirmed, and we tried to get you on, is Bryce Hall, right? Is that a real relationship, not a relationship? What, ha- what, is the- what was, looking back on that, wh- where, do we- where does this fit in the scheme of your life? That was never a confirmed relationship. Um, I know that there was like so, so many different theories about what was going on. People thought that we were hooking up. I think you thought that we were just hooking up, Dave, but we actually were not. We literally were just hanging out every single well, day. I mean, I, is this a picture of you? Okay. There's actually, there is a picture of yeah, you guys kissing. So, so what and do then, we, I mean, you just say like enough. I made this up out of thin air. <laughs> Yeah, and then and then there's like a tweet that you say keeping my mouth shut, and then there's like a post where you say I mean, I'm like, looking you're at such, you two kissing. such a waste of time. Okay, there's like do you there's evidence. Consider just kissing someone hooking up. Yeah, I do. Okay, okay. Then if that's if that's what you think, then yeah, you could say that we hooked up because we kissed. Yeah, and I, I, we were not doing it. We were just hanging out, <laughs> flirting. I guess. Flirting I guess it. De- I guess yeah. You got to define the def. Uh, yeah. Or define the definition. Because you got to define the word up. hooking up. Some people think that hooking up is just having sex. And then other people think hooking up is like, oh, you make out. And like, that's hooking up. Okay. So were you clout farming then? What? Clout farming. <laughs> that's a Tana Mojo quote. That's like she taught. Clout bit. farming. You start like making out with people, big followings. Your following goes out. You're, you're clout farming. No, I don't think, I don't think I'm, I'm like that at all. So you're just making out. That's just what kids do nowadays they're just making out <laughs> sometimes making dudes out. just be making out and videoing it I was, girls i'll put it like this i was in la for like a month and a half two months i was out there i was just having a good time hanging out with people that i normally don't get to see and were we flirting yeah sure but it was never a confirmed relationship um i was also leaving and like we both knew that so nothing was going to come out of it um, and we're, we're good friends and nothing has, has really changed. Was I maybe being cryptic with some of my tweets? Yeah. I'm also kind of immature. So fair. Can I ask you then a question fair. and I'll ask Bree the same question. Josh, yeah. you nice on a scale of zero to 10 with 10 being like, okay, we had sex. That's, that's hooking up 10 being mm. sex. What is a kiss? Is it anything on your scale? It depends, like uh, a pa- like a passionate kiss. Are we just like pecking, or are we I making think it? Out? It depends on the atmosphere. Yeah. What's the like? Because like, like, but that's like camera, oh, okay. camera in your face. Camera kiss. on, that's like a literally that's zero. Hand, yeah. Means nothing. That's a hand. Could mean nothing. That was. Let Could me mean tell nothing. you what that picture was. That picture was staged. So literally, we were just like sitting next to each other, just not even like no movement of the lips, just like pressed up against each other. Had to hold for like five seconds so J Rod could get the picture. That's all right. That, so I don't like think a, that's a zero. That's yeah. a zero. That might but be a negative, actually. I don't know. You might who come J-Rod, out of that being like, oh, that was gross. I don't know who J Rod is, but why is J Rod taking a picture of that? What was the point? This is a for right, the thumbnail. The thumbnail, yeah. The thumbnail of the YouTube video. The video. I mean, that, that, that can maybe go into cloud farming, no? And I'm yeah. not saying you, but it's, it's to go viral. That's clickbait. Yes, that that was definitely his intentions. I was just totally going along with it. Right. Okay. And then you visited Bryce and Josh on there, and this this is when I started being okay. There's something going on because you just showed up on their Any Energy tour. Do we have the video? Let's watch this video. Let's watch the video. So I'm from North Carolina, and the number one question I'm getting asked oh, right I remember now is, this. "Are you going to see Bryce <laughs> because he's in North Carolina too right now?" Um, no. You guys really think that just because he's in the same state as I am that I'm going to drive myself over to- Hey, she did drive all the way over. <laughs> yeah. There she is. She did drive. She drove all the way to see these guys. Ah! <laughs> I did drive to Chapel Hill, which is like two hours from Charlotte, to go hang out with them. And- it was because I didn't have anything going on. I I don't do anything. I don't go out on the town. I stay in on the weekends. And so when I heard that they were coming, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go see them. 
So you knew that video, was that all made at once? The, like, I'm not gonna go see him, then I saw yeah. him? I, I made I made the first part of me saying I wasn't going to on my way to go see them. I think I'd stopped to like get food, um, and then I finished it once I got there that same day. Yeah, got it. And you talked about the cryptic responses when Bryce and Josie Canseco made out. Was that an intentional cryptic response by you saying keeping my mouth shut? No, I think I I didn't really know what to what to think about the whole situation i i really don't care like again we were not in a relationship he had the freedom to do whatever he wants like i'm not i'm not crazy like that i think it was just unexpected um because i had just like left i don't know like a week before so it just it felt all kind of like fast moving in in my mind but it really wasn't a big deal i i don't as somebody who's sitting outside just neutral observer I feel like what you're saying is conflicting. Like okay. if, because the only way there'd be any feelings would be if there were feelings with him. I mean, I'm not, I'm not denying the fact that like there were feelings on both end, on both ends. Um, I'm just saying it wasn't serious enough to the point where I felt like I, I could be upset about it, if that makes sense. So back to your, back to my question, zero through 10. I don't, I've never seen you make out with Bryce Hall. <laughs> Where is that on your hookup scale? 10 being sex. The, the thumbnail kiss or just in general? No, like, in general, you must have kissed him for real if you're like, oh, that was fast. Do you guys, did Bree and Josh yes, see yeah. what I'm saying? No, you guys yeah. are sitting there I, yeah. with me just no, I got, seem like I mean, an idiot, but I know you no, know what I'm because, saying. because, yeah, <laughs> you said you didn't care and then you came home and you're like, oh, that was a little fast, I'll keep my mouth shut. So there was clearly off camera, you guys were like, flirting maybe a little thing going on but you weren't dating and you yeah, were leaving I'm not, yeah. I'm not denying that at all there was definitely like like a little something going on but we both knew that it wasn't it wasn't something that was like going on forever exactly so it was just like like i don't know like a little summer fling um but i feel like even then like people think that it was a lot more serious like we're just like making out all the time <laughs> hooking up all the time like we we would hang out and we would just like go get chipotle or like watch a movie or like do like yeah north movie. carolina was gross guys i was just like pulling their faces off each other the whole time. I was like, ugh. Yeah, out didn't happen, but, um, So then it was yeah. like just a little shock to see him making out with someone right yeah, away. Yeah, of course. I mean, I feel like that would be for anyone. If you spend every single day with someone for a month and a half, you know, flirting or whatever you're doing, I feel like it's always going to be a shock because in my mind, I'm like, oh, like, did like the whole summer, like not really like mean anything to you and not for that to sound like mean in any way, but that's just kind of like the natural thoughts that were just going through my head. I feel like anyone would think that too, just because yeah, we, yeah. we did get really close, um, not even in a relationship way, but as friends, like I got to know a lot about him um, and really like learn about him as a person. So um, yeah, it was a shock of course, but again, like it wasn't that serious to the point where I felt like I was allowed to be upset by it. So Fair what enough. is like your game plan? Like future, you just, stop school concentrate on this full time do you do you have it like maybe you do maybe you don't like mapped out what you want to try to do i know you've done fashion and modeling and things like that i feel we've talked josh and i and brie at length like different platforms shifting like what what do you see yourself doing yeah i was actually just having this conversation with my dad because i feel like this like this season of life is very much like um like a self-discovery journey <laughs> like i i don't really know what I'm super passionate about or what I want to do long term and I have to remind myself like I'm young and I have time to figure it out but also it's stressful like having the platform that I do have I feel like I need to you know like constantly be moving um, and like figuring out what's next for me so um, there's a couple of things that I want to try I want to try to um, get into acting a little bit maybe take like a couple acting classes and see where that goes um, just because I feel like I could do good in it and if I don't like it at least I tried it um, but I feel like right now it's just like experimenting with, you know, different passions and different hobbies, trying to find out what I really love to do and what I want to do long term. Because obviously TikTok isn't going to be around forever. Social media, like the whole social media influencer thing is only going to last for so long. So I want to like find my thing, like my niche and kind of go with that. But on the path to figuring that out right now. Cool. Um, we got a game that we're going to do. Is this is this with... Yeah, Her, we have right? a fuck, Mary kill. Gotcha. Oh, classic. Yep, classic one for Riley. 
Gotcha. Okay, first one. Of course, I had to start off with a little Bryce Hall insert. <laughs> Noah Beck, Bryce Hall, and Vinny Hacker. This is my worst nightmare. <laughs> 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 um, who are who are the people? Bryce, Noah, and Vinny. 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 I'm gonna kill Bryce. Um, Fair. Just because right off the bat, I'm closest to him, and so I feel like he'll understand where I'm coming from. I feel like it would be rude to say I would kill off the other uh. people just because I'm not super close. Um, I'm I'm gonna marry Noah just because I respect his relationship and he's also a great guy. I feel like he would he would be great as a husband <laughs> um, to Dixie. <laughs> um, and I guess the last choice is to F Vinny. Do yeah. the deed with Vins, yeah. <laughs> like the rest of the world wants to do. So facts. No cap. Oh, we got Dixie, Avani, and Addison. Putting me in such an awkward position. Okay, I'm going to. It's all hypothetical. It's okay. Yeah, um, no, this the stuff that happens in the game doesn't actually happen in real. You life. have to pick People somebody. People get so stressed yeah. about this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's not real. <laughs> I am going to. I'm going to marry Avani because I love her. We're so close. She's my best friend. Um, person I'm closest to in LA. So. Marry her. Um, God. I'm only saying this because I I talked to her ex. I'm going to kill Addison. Nothing against her at all. I just, Headlines, baby. Headlines. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like um, there's a little bit of tension there maybe. I don't know. I don't talk to her. I haven't wow. Seen it's, her. A little, it's a little mm, tension I mean, kill, eh? I feel, like, little... I feel like as a girl, I would be salty at like the next girl that talks to my ex. So I don't know. Um, mm. That's just like a, a natural reaction, I feel like. But again, I don't talk to her. I don't really know what she's She doing. commented on that one picture of yours though and said, your eyes, wow. I when when you that. captioned, I mean, yeah, when you captioned your even That was like a shock to me because again, I don't really speak to her. Um, so that was that was like that was two girls coming together out of hate, right? Yep, a little a little yeah, well, uh, not even duo that, revenge. It, I think it was like a shock to me, just as much as it was to Bryce. Like I don't I don't talk to her. We've never really been close. Um, so when I saw that, I was like, I think I know the reasoning behind this, but it was still very unexpected. Um, yeah, so that's the only reason I'm saying that is because there might be a little bit of whatever going on there and then i'm just gonna f dixie i guess all right she's cute Sweet. love her uh, blake gray anthony reeves and lil huddy god. oh my god You're all men in relationships yeah that's <laughs> again a, that's hypothetical a, it's okay that's a, occasionally <laughs> i'm like where am i i don't know who anthony reeves is that's Avani. He's my roommate, bro. I've said this so many Dave, times. Dave, every time he doesn't know Avani or him. Like he never. I, do, I so almost said I don't know Avani. I know we asked those two people. I don't. They. We I don't tell know, you they, every other week. And every then week. Each week. Every week. Dave, you, li you, you, li you live with Anthony Reeves, dude. You've hung, <laughs> yeah, you've hung out, out with him. him. Remember the the sports card. We Damn. went to the card shop together. Remember he was like the the guy that knew all this shit about oh, the sports cards. Oh, but he cards. didn't look like that in that picture. Yeah. He used to have long hair, to be fair. All right. Okay. My bad. My bad. It's all good. It's all good. Next week, don't ask who they are again, though. Now you know. I won't. I won't. <laughs> I know now. Anthony, Anthony Reeves and Avani. Yes. Yeah, he sometimes brain. goes right. by a love, Anthony. Just so like, know what you don't get mixed up in the future. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Yeah, they've been dating for like two years. So they've been a thing. But, um, wow. Okay. I don't, I don't really know Blake. And I don't really know Chase. Um, I'm going to kill Chase. No reasonings behind it. I just don't know what, him that well. What do you think of his fashion? I think I like I like it. You don't I've like got, it? I've gone back and forth. He's grown up. He's like my. Drip. He has some fits where you're like, oh, that that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah, he's one of like I I we used to talk about it a lot, and Josh and he had early beef. I want him on the show. If you put like a, a top list of people I'd like on, he's probably one or two. He's right up there. I yeah. I think his style is cool. I mean, I am also a firm believer in I feel like you can wear just about anything if you wear it with confidence, and I feel like he rocks the outfits that he does wear. So it, it even if it's like 
like not a great outfit that would look good like on a mannequin i feel like it's the way that he wears it and the way that he presents himself makes it look 10 times better fair um uh, but you killed so him so <laughs> yeah you killed him straight up <laughs> yeah so it couldn't um, have been that great i i'm gonna marry anthony just because i he treats ivani so well um I love them to death. He is going to be a great husband one day as well. And I don't even want to say, I don't even want to say what I'm, what I'm going to do to Blake, but. F, but say <laughs> you're consistent. Like the Anthony Reeves, like logic was the same logic you had. Yeah, see, I, yeah. I go for a little reverse logic on this though. Like Riley's logic is like, I would be like, oh, I don't know this person. Ah, I guess I'll fuck him. And then like, it, like the people <laughs> I know that are in a relationship, I'm like, yo, kill them. Out of like, you know, some room, Romeo and Juliet type shit. Yep. Okay. But anyways, different strategy, different people. Yeah. Is that all or is there the, another? The last one was uh, Dave, Bree, and Josh, but we can we can nice. skip that and, unless <laughs> nice. you want to answer. I mean, I was going to fucking clearly get killed, so move along with that one. Although I... <laughs> you never know. know. Funny. Yeah. Uh, all right. Dave, Dave's like, well, I mean, unless. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dave's We're like, oh, I'm going to get killed. Yeah, no, no, I'm going to no. get we don't, killed we don't put unless. Four year olds on. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. All right. So <laughs> I think that's everything. We appreciate you coming on, Riley. It was good to finally get you on here. Yeah, um, thanks for coming on. It's been in the works for a while, so I'm glad that I finally decided to come on. Thank yeah, you. I made the hop. We appreciate it. That's Riley, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Oh, did someone clap? Yeah, Josh that was, Josh was clapping. I was up. giving I like a it. round of applause. I you love know? it. I love it. Yeah. All right, guys. That's uh, that's the end of the episode. BFFs. So we'll see you guys on that week. Net net net. Wow. Yep, you got it. I, we'll uh, see you guys next no. week. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Brianna.